Morning guys, my name is Kai Hendry. I'm a DevOps engineer in Singapore. And one thing that I feel is important with software projects is to get a good hold of the, the build system. So with most software, with any software project, you have the source code and you have like the binary, you know, the artifact or something like that. Source code could be some Go source files, could be some, you know, HTML and CSS that needs to be sort of transpiled or whatever into the final product. I've always been advocating for make, GNU make. And I personally have lots of problems with it and I noticed that my colleagues struggle with it too. So when I discovered Redo through the suckless mailing list, I thought I need to give this a try and I think I'm sold. And I just wanna quickly show you, intro you to Redo. So let's just start with, with GNU make. You know, infamous GNU make. I always advocate, I love to see a make file in the, in the top level of a project, because in that make file you describe your, your targets, let's call them bar, is the thing I want to produce, and then the dependencies, and it's usually expressed like this. Then the next line has to be a tab, and then you say something like, um, you know, what you were going to do for the source files, I'm going to take in the source file and change all the X characters into Y and then I'm gonna output that to, to bar. So that's that's how a make file works. A make is smart enough to track when things have changed, but these things have to be files, right? Let me just quickly demonstrate. So if I run make here, it just chooses the first target, and you can see that the source file, which was hey xxxx, is now hey. And if I run make again, it knows that the source hasn't updated and, and it won't do anything. This is important when you have a bigger project because you want to have fast builds. You don't want to rebuild from scratch. Make helps you do that. Let me just quickly change uh, Foo. And now it knows to build it again, right? So Make has lots of problems like, like for example, you know, no one seems to remember, including myself, these little variables and which you can probably use to simplify things or make it perhaps make it more complicated. Let me show you redo. A redo file name is important. That file name, for example, in the previous one, the target was bar. And here the target is bar. And the file name is called bar.do. So in this file, I'm describing how bar is built. So Unfortunately, the w one thing about Redo, which I don't like, is that you end up having several files, usually, if you're building several types of files. But let's just run with it. You express your dependencies like so. Redo if change foo. I think that's a quite, it's quite simple. It's, it's readable, right? Here, I'm saying that you need to do this again if foo changes. And then I, of course, have the trxy. And in this case, with redo, it captures the standard out by default. So let me demonstrate to you. Uh, let me create that foo. So if I go redo, redo bar, now our bar should, yeah, have, have the correct things in it, which it does. I didn't have to pipe it out to a different file. You can, there are special variables which, which you can, but by default, um, I think it looks quite neat, don't you think? Now, links in the description, the imp implementation of Redo is a far simpler than Make. It's like, it can be implemented in a thousand lines of C. That's how amazing it is. The design is elegant. It sucks less. This is why I'm really, really into it right now. One huge problem with Make is that you don't get atomic builds. Like if, if, if something's cut in the middle or your power goes out or something like that, you, you, Make doesn't really know if something's done, but you get that for free with redo. What happens when foo doesn't exist? So if I go redo bar, it will say foo no do, do, do file. So you can basically, in another file, foo do, you can say echo, you know, you can, you can create the um, do file. And then of course, redo is smart enough to know that everything needs to be rebuilt. So 
I'm just a beginner. Hopefully that is a little a cool little intro. I have packaged Go Redo in AUR and Arsenix. I packaged it for my colleagues who all use Macs in Homebrew. Install it. Try and convert a project from Make into Go Redo and tell me what you think below. I've been changing a couple of projects over, like my parents' website to uh, Redo. And I think it's now simpler and uh, of course, you know, removing the, the huge burden of uh, make. My philosophy is to try and make things suck less. And I think Redo's brilliant design by DJB is the path to get there. So I'm looking to refactor my, my build systems further into Redo and, and get some more experience with it and enjoy all the benefits of just less code and less complexity in my life, in my projects. Because Redo is so much simpler than, uh, than Make. And hopefully this will get my colleagues into uh, caring a bit more about their build system too. As ever, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe for more. And do let me know what you think of Redo below. I think it's fascinating. Bye guys.